They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? Wearing the blasting blue, it's Umber, the monster, Monhara! From Israel in the rowdy red, it's Roy Barracuda, Baldwin! And from Portugal in the bold, staining purple, Anna Mika Dukuvai! superstar athletes from three different nations all battling out for one Global Guts gold medal. Hello everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship competition, it's time now to go to our referee Maura Quirk for an official gold medal update. Hello, Mo. Hey there, Mike. Here's a look at where all of our countries stand so far. Can Mexico increase their lead with a third gold? Will Israel or Portugal begin to move up? We don't know, so let's go. And we will get started, Mo. Our competition has gone global, but this next event is truly out of this world. You want extreme? We're going to give you a zero-G race in space. Our players undergo horizontal training to prepare for racing at zero gravity. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the zero G course. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. With that whistle, the monster takes on zero G and look at the monster fly. The monster eating up the edge of nothing. Let's see if she can regain her balance. Using her hands, you show just how strong are here on Global Guts, picking up the pace and with the finish. <laughs> she almost ran head first into the aerial bridge, but she is fine. Let's go to Mo. Check out the official time for the monster. Umba clocked in at 19.9 seconds. Wow, she's stepping off the aerial bridge is totally stoked. Up next will be the Barracuda. Looks like he's ready. On your mark, get set. Okay, well. The Barracuda used to water. Now he's at zero gravity. And the Barracuda hit his face on the turf of zero gravity. He's going to have to pick up the pace. He looks to be fine. Remember, our players wear safety equipment to pre prevent themselves from any injury. And you see just how hard it is to stay balanced and centered. you got to think horizontal in zero G. Let's find out the official time for the Barracuda from Mo. Roy clocked in at 27.5 seconds. Up next from Portugal is Anna. Her nickname's Nika. Looks like she's ready. On your mark, get set. Okay, so Nika getting her sneakers. A toe hold in the turf of zero gravity. And over the first hurdle, she's picking up. She is at the edge of nothing. Let's see if she can stay horizontal. The time to beat. 19.9. Here she comes to the finish line. The second hurdle slowing her down. She's fighting now. She's taking a seat on the hurdle. Gonna have to pick it up. She's looking for second place points. The red stripe is the finish line. Let's go to Mo and get the official time for Nika. Mo. Anna clocked in at 27.1 seconds, which puts Umba in first place. Anna in second place and Roy in third place. Well, in the zero G astronaut race, the Barracuda went belly down. No airbags in this helmet as he takes a digger to the turf. But he's got plenty of steel nerves and guts, which Roy summons to finish and find form uninjured. But the momentum of the monster has her competitors green with envy. The monster mastering the G-Force sign, winding a waltz towards the winning position, finishing with first place points. The leaderboard from Mo.
Here we go. Umba from Mexico is in first place with 300 points. In second place is Anna from Portugal with 200 points. In third place is Roy from Israel with 100 points. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And now it's time to get to know better the Mexican Dynamo, whose skills are muy bueno. Umbar the monster, spill your guts. Hello, I'm Amber Monjaras and I'm from Mexico City. The symbol on the Mexican flag represents the founding of Mexico City. The Aztecs had to build the city where they found this symbol. I have with me some examples of typical Mexican crafts. One sport that I like to do is gymnastics, but I train and compete in swimming. Well, for our next event, we have assembled the world's toughest terrain for our international cross-country race tornado run. Our global athletes must cross a hot steaming stream and then make the turn and fight through a pulse-quickening quake. After that, they're going to turn and find the vicious vines that they're going to have to fight through because there's one more obstacle. They're going to have to shoot through that swirling swamp fog for the finish. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the track, negotiating each obstacle. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. So up first will be Umbar, the monster. She will set the pace, and she is flying. She's in the lead with 300 points as she makes it through the quake. And this Mexican athlete, you see her gritting her teeth as she makes it through the vicious vines. Across the swamp fog, she fights through the finish line and diving across. Let's go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Umbach locked in at 18.8 .8 seconds. Setting the pace yet again. Roy's going to see if he can beat it. On your mark, get set. The Barracuda from Israel goes into this event with 100 points. He's going to have to beat 18.8 .8 if he wants a victory. Making it through the quake, almost lost his footing. Going seems to be in the same spot where the monster went, but the vine was hooking him off, and he went off the track. I believe he went off the track right there. That might be a penalty. I don't know. We'll go to Mo and get the official. Mo. No penalty for Roy. He clocked in at 20.5 seconds. Up next is Nika. On your mark, get set. Anna Nika. From Portugal, in the royal purple. And you see just how hard it is to keep your balance around the quake. Fighting through the vine, she hops right through, like a bun ram. Oh, and she went right off the track right there. I don't know if that's going to be a penalty. Let's go to Mo and find out the official results, Mo. We're not assessing any penalties for Anna. Her time was 21.5 seconds, which already puts her in third place. So Roy comes in second place and Umba comes in first place. So Anna, with a quick start, good determination across the stream, and the hurricane leaves tried to slow her down, but there wasn't any slowing her down until the shifting plates of tornado turf, the pulse quivering quake, slowing down Portugal's purple. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard now, Mo. Well, now Umba from Mexico has 600 points in the lead and tied in second place with 300 points each. Roy from Israel and Anna from Portugal. So that's where they stand after two events. Well, folks, stick around because we'll be plunging the pool and rocking some rims. Boogie down and slam dunk coming up next. Stick around. The Global Guts Gold Rush is well underway, but before we get to our next event, time to meet this Israeli superstar who's chewing up the competition. Hey, Barracuda, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Roy Waldman from the beautiful city of Haifa, Israel. In Haifa, we have a beautiful view of the bay, and I love living in the center of the city. I like basketball and soccer, but I love swimming because it's a good exercise and I like being in the water. Hamburger, pizza, and fish sound good to you? Well, I love them. I love to go out with my friends. We eat, go to the clubs, and to the movies. Well, you think you can go?
get some monster rides on a knee board, try pounding a little of our killer curl in Boogie Down. Our athletes will be shooting through the super surf of our global guts pool, seeing which country's players can really rip it up. Let's go to Mo, Mo for the rules. Mo. <laughs> at the sound of my whistle, each player will pull themselves across the pool and high five the spotter at the end of the pool before turning around to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first will be the monster. She's our leader. She's got a perfect game on the line. With first place finishes and the first two events, she will set the pace again. And you see the grit and determination as she pulls herself along that rope. This is completely kid powered. Arm over arm, you see those rapids trying to push the boogie board down and out of her path, but she continues to pull herself and with the touch, I'm sure she's glad that race is over. The tip of the board getting submerged there at the last moment. Let's go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Umba clocked in at 26.4 seconds. The Barracuda is up next, and the Barracuda is in his natural element, water. On your mark, get set. All right, the Barracuda. With 300 points tied for second place, the time to beat 26.4. You see, he has very long arms, and with the touch, those long arms are going to help him pull himself across. He's picking up pace, but he lost hold of the rope. And now the board is submerged. It's going to be very close at the finish. He needs a first place finish, and with the touch, oh! Oh, so close. We'll have to go to Mo and find out if that's official. Mo. Yes, Roy clocked in at 26.6 seconds. And now Portugal's Anna will be up next. On your mark, get set. And his nickname is Nika. We've said that before, and Nika is now in the water. Going into this event with 300 points, a perfect opportunity for her to beat that 26.4 and take home first place points. But she really hesitated with that high five right there. So now, as the tip of her boogie board is submerged, she's got to shift her weight and focus. And it doesn't look like she's going to get first or second place points, but she is determined to finish. You see her focusing on the spotter and with the touch, that will stop the clock. We'll go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Anna clocked in at 33.3 seconds, which places Umba in first place, Roy in second place, and Anna in third place. This monster is not from Loch Ness. No, she's from Mexico, and this Mexican magician just pulled another 300 rabbits out of the Global Guts pool. Rabbits meaning points. Translate magic into Spanish. You got guts, you got determination, you got grit. Another 300 for her. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard. Mo. Well, Umba from Mexico remains in the lead with 900 points. In second place is Roy from Israel with 500 points. In third place, Anna from Portugal with 400 points. So that's Boogie Down, but now here's a Portuguese prodigy who's pushing for a piece of the crag. Hey, Nika, spill your guts. Hi, my name is Anna Govai and I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. My favorite sports are gymnastics and swimming. In my free time, I rollerblade with my friends. My favorite athlete is swimmer Alexander Popov. He's very respected and he has a great attitude. Being here at Global Guts is like realizing a part of my dreams, to go to the Olympics. Well, they're slam dunking in Boston, Barcelona, and Berlin, but nowhere do they slam dunk like in the extreme arena. Our players going sky high, rocking the rims in slam dunk. We got your rules, we got your mo. Mo! At the sound of my whistle, players will grab a basketball, jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up and shoot. They'll have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible, and baskets only count if they are shot after the player has touched the ground. On your mark, get set. So the story here is the perfect game for the monster. And up and in our players, as Roy goes up, the Barracuda with the thunder dunk. 60 seconds of slam dunk chaos, and that one will count for the monster. Now, our players do not have to dunk it. They just got to score the hoop. As you see, up and in goes Anna. 
at the halfway point. All our players with good motion down, and the monster going up, putting one through, as did Anna. As you look at Anna, up and in. She's got a nice rhythm down and a finger roll, and the monster just lost one to the left of your screen. Getting back up on the bridge. The monster taking pace. Gonna have to pick it up because the other players want to knock off her per perfect score. Back up on the aerial bridge. You've got to be aerobically fit to compete in this one. And another one for Anna as time runs out. A score before the buzzer. I don't know if that one will count for the monster. Let's go to Mo. In first place was Roy scoring nine baskets. In second place, Anna scoring eight. In third place, Umba scoring seven. Well, there goes the perfect game for the monster because stepping up with the thunder dunk was the Barracuda from Israel. Roy, with the leg power, quick turn, good movement for him. He takes first. Nika took second, and I happened to talk to Nika Ooh. yesterday. Let's take a look at what she said. Hey, it's Maiko, Ana, and over here, Jose, our Portuguese presenter. We're going to give you a little Portuguese lesson right now. What does Global Guts mean to you? Ana, o que é que significa para ti estar aqui no Global Guts? Uma nova experiência, novos amigos, divertir-me. Oh, it's a good experience for her. She, she knows big friends here, and uh, she's happy. <laughs> And after slam dunk, it's going to change the look of the game. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard now, Mo. Well, Mike Umba from Mexico is still in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Roy from Israel with 800 points. In third place is Anna from Portugal with 600 points. Oh, whoa! Four events in the bag! Forget about it! Folks, welcome back to Global Guts, where three countries are battling out for one piece of the crag. And right now we're at the crag where the points have skyrocketed. 375 for third place, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo and see where we stand, Mo. After four events, Umba from Mexico is in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Roy from Israel with 800 points. In third place is Anna from Portugal with 600 points. That is where they stand now, how they got there. The Barracuda, one more look at, watching his face, boom. He ate a little zero G turf, but he got up and finished strong. And also finishing strong was the monster. Going upside down, all around. She regained her composure and took first place points. And now you look at the pulsating quake of Tornado Run, that's Mika. Fancy footwork into the vines and through the vines. Look at the look on her face. The monster with another victory through the swirling swamp. Fod fighting through and eating the turf right there. She was fine. She took 300. And then coming up in boogie down. You saw Roy the Barracuda. But first place went back again. Another first place finish for the monster. And then we go into a little bit of slam dunk. Nika putting it down. First place points coming right back at you was the Barracuda with 300 points on that one. And the competition is about to heat up because, ladies and gentlemen, now it's the crag. And first, it was the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, avalanche ledge, ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo, up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? Mo! 
players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one, at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. Who will it be? Mexico, Israel, or Portugal? Let's get it started with Mo. Mo! On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, they begin to climb up Boulder Canyon, trying to fight through those venomous vapors, locking into the first actuator. Heading up a three-way tie as they make their way through Switchback Ben the Monster and the Barracuda fighting it out for the Global Guts Gold as the rocks fall down. Looks like in purple in the lead is Nika as Nika is up at the ice wall first. Remember the Monster is our leader getting up there but up top in red first is the Barracuda locking in who will be second. It looks like the Monster. Oh, and Nika had to go back down. She missed the actuator. Let's go to Mo for the official results now. Mo. In first place on the super aggro crag, Umba from Mexico. In second place, Anna from Portugal. In third place, Roy from Israel. Roy missed the very last boulder in Boulder Canyon and got an automatic third place. Well, folks, you got to play by the rules on the crag, and that means touching every boulder in Boulder Canyon. He jumped off that last boulder before hitting it and hitting the first actuator. At the ice wall, it looked like a three-way tie with red and blue. Purple actually ahead, but Purple had to go back down. She had missed an actuator, Nika, and so Roy, who had locked in first, was watching helplessly as he knew that when the monster locked in, she would take home the Guts Gold. And let's find out the official final standings from Mo. Here it is, Mike. In third place today, Anna from Portugal, 1,150 points. In second place, Roy from Israel, 1,175 points. Our winner today, Umba from Mexico, with 1,725 points. So there it is. Conclusion to today's events here on Global Guts. The bronze will go to Anna, Mika, Dubaia, all the way from Portugal. The silver medal will go to Roy Barracuda Valdemar. We'll bring that back home to the people of Israel and proudly show the silver medal to his friends at home. Hearing the Mexican national anthem because the global guts go will go to this world class athlete, a superstar. She will take back to Mexico a glowing piece of the radical rock. Look how excited she is! And the extreme arena is rocking for one of Mexico's finest. And these three. Global Guts athletes will now take a well-deserved victory lap around the track here at the Extreme Arena as they take their country's flags from their coaches and the Extreme Arena shows their appreciation. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids, they got guts. Do you have it? Yeah. Reebok gear available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. <laughs>